this is a tutorial on the smart fill tool smart fill tool is in a toolbox and it's in this uh, option here that's the smart fill okay so what's the concept of smart fill I'm going to show you to demonstrate the smart fill if I'm going to make a the zero line here from here to here I'm creating a line okay so I use my zero tool okay and then I'm going to curve this one by choosing the outline and then going to shape tool uh, click on the outline and I'm going to my convert line to curve and I'm going to make it a curve line okay then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply smart fill okay uh, I click on smart fill and on top of the property bar here it says here the fill option specify so I can change that color let's say I'm gonna make it green okay and then I click here and there you go so smart fill fills up the an object as long as it's a closed object with a fill color that's why we chose the green fill color now I can delete this or move it around okay, let's say I'm going to move it down here and I'm going to go back to my smart fill tool click and then click here again okay. now if I want to stylize this artwork I'm gonna make it like that again and I'm gonna curve it so click and then I'm going to rotate it just a little bit and then I'm going to do a smart fill again click okay so I click again one more click and if this one shows up it means to say you can rotate it but I'm going to click on the rotation uh, point going to this side here and then I'm going to rotate it again I'm going to go to my smart tool again click and then click that again and then I'm going to delete this line now right now I have one two three four objects that I can play around with the the effects I mean the fill effects say I want it blue or let's say I can use also the uh, the interactive fill okay so I'll start from there and then let's say I'm going to click here and I'm going to put some white okay and then dark blue and I can move the slider and I can also click the second uh, object with a smart fill tool and then I click on interactive tool again I mean interactive fill yeah and then I'm going to I can now customize my look and then maybe in here I'll put some blue and in the center I'll make put some white okay and then the last one too I can interactive fill click here and drag and I can also make this blue and this one is darker blue and in the center I can add another one and then I can just select all of these three objects and remove the fill. Click on none. Yeah. Now I can also make this maybe solid blue. Remove the outline. So see how easy I did it with the smart, uh, the smart fill tool. Okay, another use for a smart fill tool is making collages we're going to work on these four images here and we're going to make a collage okay so first what we're going to do is we're going to do make lines straight lines first and then apply smart fill so to create lines I go to f5 or my freehand tool now I click on uh, maybe somewhere here and then uh, in order to make a straight line you hold on control shift and it will restrict to a straight line and click I got one line there and I'm going to make two more lines 
click on my free hand I will make it click and, and hold on shift control to make a straight line and then one more here and there and I'm just gonna move this one there okay so now I've got intersecting lines and what I will do is I'm going to click on my smart fill tool and apply smart fill apply there here and then I'm going to delete the lines first these two lines delete that and delete this one and then I'm going to make a smart fill apply smart fill there and over here okay. so I'm going to delete this one okay so I have now four um, basic shapes Control Z to undo okay so now what I'm going to do I'm going to I'm going to power clip this one maybe this one here to this shape here okay so I click on the photo it doesn't matter if it's centered or not because we can fix that later so as long as it intersects so I click on the photo go to effects power clip place inside the container and my container is this one here now I go to effects power clip uh, edit contents and see that blue square there uh, rectangle that was the object so I'm going to uh, hit F4 to view the whole thing and I'm just gonna center it and that looks good and click on finish editing object okay so I'm going to do the this one it's going to enlarge it a little bit and then go to effects same thing power clip place into the container container is this one and I go to effects power clip edit contents and that looks good so I'll just click on finish and edit and then this one I'm going to go to effects power clip place inside the container and I choose this one and the last one is this one maybe I'll just do it that way and then effects power clip place it inside the container and click on that one okay so that was a very quick collage and if you don't want the outline just select everything and remove the outline and maybe I'll just group this one control G to group and then maybe I'll put it in here I'll put it to back of the page order to back of page and I can And there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna stretch that. And there you go. I just made a collage using Bookmark Pro Two. Smart fill can also be be applied on text. So an example here, I have, I have the word smart here, and I'm going to stylize that text. Now first I'm going to, okay, I created a, uh, a shape here, which is curved, and I'm going to intersect it like that, okay? But the, the shape or the curve should be on top of the text. Now I'm going to apply smart fill. Click. click okay and what I'm going to do I'm just going to group all of this okay I click on the first one then hold on shift okay shift I'm going to shift select and I'm just going to group the, that and this is the group uh, icon here or control G okay now the the bottom part I'm going to go to my smart field and click that And I'm going to group the bottom part of the text. Hold on shift, shift select, and group this one. Okay. Now I can delete my curve, curve line. Okay. Now I can remove the outline by selecting all of it and then go to outline tool and click on none. Okay. Now since this is grouped together, I can apply interactive fill. Okay letter G type in G and I'm going to click and drag going up okay 
and I can I can basically color it same way that way and then on the bottom I just drag and put it in this box here uh, maybe a lighter in the middle and then move this down okay and then the bottom part I can click on it okay and then I go to my interactive fill I can go to another color I'm just going to try the green here and then click and drag going up or down doesn't matter and then you can uh, customize the color by clicking on the color palette and dragging the dragging the color into the the uh, the box there so there this one to here and then maybe in the middle I'll put lighter or maybe white Another use for smart fill is when you have clip arts. Just make sure that the clip art is a vector. And how do you know it's a vector? You go to File, um, Wireframe, and you can see it's a vector. Go back to File again and click on Enhance. Now, same thing, click on your smart fill tool, and then you click on the area that you want to, to have smart fill. And first, you don't need to, to you know, to color it the color that you want because you can always change it. The most important thing is you isolate the the object. Click, and then click here. Okay. See that was a problem here because it's not closed. So click on undo here. So when you have that trouble uh, or the problem, what you're going to do is just create a line. Okay, go to your freehand tool and just close this one. And then you can apply your smart fill to yeah. Okay, so you can delete that. Then you can start coloring your 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 object. Uh, if you want to color that, same thing there. And then here, hold on shift, select, and you can probably want that or so it's really up to you. So that's how we do it. so this is also the same as the first mm, tutorial wherein you do collages but in here we're using we're combining all those uh, you know those shapes and everything okay so we're going to work on these uh, three photos here and our target um, target artwork would be this one here okay so I'm just going to delete this first okay? and I'm going to create a rectangle and then I'll make a shape. So click on my Vizier tool, click and click here, and then go to my shape tool, okay, click on the line, and then make it a curve, convert line to curve, and I'm going to reshape it. So we drop this down like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to duplicate this. Your so I'll click on your plus sign in your keyboard and move it down okay so now I'll, I'll apply smart fill one two three and then i'm going to delete these two lines here okay so these are separate objects now that's it now i'm going to <clears throat> i think i'm going to i'm going to line this up first like this okay that doesn't matter like that as long as it's behind the object that you want to power clip so first object or photograph click on effects our clip place inside a container this is my container okay so I want to edit the container or the power clip edit power clip and I'm going to okay uh, for this exercise we'll just stretch it but it's not really good to stretch but anyway finish object finish editing object and the bottom part click on the photograph go to effects power clip place inside a container this is my container and I go effects power clip edit contents and again I'm just going to stretch it just for the sake of 
to make it faster. Okay, and then click on finish object. And the last one is the AI. Click on effects, bar clip, place inside the container, and the container is that one. And then I'm going to shortcut key two is to hold and control, click, then it's in the edit mode. So once again, I'm going to just stretch it and click finish. Okay, so I'm going to remove the outlines, select the three objects, and then go to my outline tool and click on none. Okay, so that's good. Now we're going to stylize it again by clicking on the Bezier tool. Click on this side and go in there. And then once again, go to your shape tool, click on your line make it uh, convert line to curve and I'm just going to stylize it like this okay now now this one says this one's good so I can still apply since it's in a, inside a power clip I can apply smart fill so click on smart fill and click on there it's good okay and then I'm going to delete this line here <clears throat> okay I'm gonna do the effect later so I click on my vizier tool again or the bottom part okay same procedure click on the line go to your convert line to curve and then reshape it okay and then I go to my smart fill tool and click there it's good so delete that now I can color this one uh, I don't know which color I use but we can use any color let's say blue here and I go to my transparency tool, okay, which is this one, and I click and drag. There. I can remove the outline by going to your outline tool and click on none. Okay, I can do the same with this. I can make it let's say purple like that. And then click here in the transparency tool and slide it. I'll slide it over. And then remove the outline. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, another thing is I can put a smart fill in here. So I click here and smart fill, and then smart fill on the bottom too. I can make this black or any dark color. Uh, okay. So I'll just just in this dark blue, and then I can slide my transparency tool again. Click. And remove the outline. Okay, I can do the same here. Let's make it red. Yeah, dark red. And then it's transparent to see tool. Click and drag. I don't think red is good. I'll just make it green then. Uh, okay, or green. there you go so that's the artwork of the combined let's combine a power clip smart fill and transparency